everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today's video is going to be rather short. It's just going to have a little video put into this video because I had a request from Frank Janvari to show how I keep my pedal, my foot pedal from my sewing machine from moving around. So let's just go to that video. I had a request to show how I keep my presser foot from my sewing machine from scooting across the floor or moving when you're trying to sew because it can be a problem. They do want to slide. So I'm going to show you how I do it. I have my presser foot up against something underneath my sewing table and this keeps it from moving when you try to put your foot on it. It keeps the thing from sliding away from you. As you can see, it's not going to go anywhere. Or if you don't have something you can put, against, put it against, I have another solution. I have this pad that you can use and on this, it's a rubber type material. It goes in your kitchen sink, I guess, underneath your dishes, I think is where it's supposed to be. But anyways, it's got suction cups on the other side. And if you're on a hard surface, like a floor of some sort, you can just press down the suction cups onto the floor. And you will find that now it won't go anywhere. See, I'm pulling it, but it doesn't want to, it doesn't want to, it won't slide away. So you can put that on your floor. Or I have a third. You can put this on the floor underneath and with your foot on it, it's not going to go anywhere. Or you can put it up against with this underneath and of course it's not going to go anywhere. You can put your foot on there and it's never going to go any place. It's not going to slide. It's not going to push. It's not going to anything. But these pads work really good if you can find them, or even the shelf liner pads probably would work. You could probably put this even upside down if you wanted to. Then it would be more like those other pads that don't have the suction cups. And it, it stays put. It still works. You still won't push it anywhere. These are the tips that I have to try to keep your foot pedal in place under your sewing area. I hope this was, has been helpful for you, Frank, and for anyone else that is having trouble with their foot pedal from their sewing machine moving on them as they're sewing. I never had that problem when I was when I used my mother's machine because she had the knee pedal where you pushed it with your knee, and when I got my machine, I had the foot pedal, which the foot pedal will scoot away from you if you don't prop it against something or put something under it that is skid proof. I hope you enjoyed this video and this was helpful for you. Take care and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.